One more. Nice. Hi, my name's Glenn Holmes. I'm the co-owner of the Box and Burn Academy, the world's number one boxing fitness education course. I'm also the founding trainer here at Box and Burn in Los Angeles. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So the first combination, we're starting off with a double jab. Um, in this combination, the footwork we're working on is the pivot out, okay? So we're gonna start with that double jab. As she throws that double jab, she's gonna step into it a little bit to try and draw me into throwing the right hand as the opponent. So as soon as that double jab's landed, I'm gonna throw the right, she's gonna slip it into the inside, right? Now with that slip, she's loaded up that front leg, that left side. Now in order to create space and get in control of what's going on here, she's gonna pivot out swing that back leg out and be in perfect position then as soon as I react as the opponent to land counter punches. So for this combination, for those counter punches, would be, might be in close right here as soon as I've reacted, uppercut hook two, three, three punch attack from that pivot, okay? So to break it down again from the start, starting with the double jab, she's gonna come forward, slip the right hand there, pivot out to change the angle, uppercut hook two to finish it off, okay? So we've got the slip for defense and then the pivot out to gain control of the space and get onto the side of the opponent that you're avoiding that cross from. So uh, as the coaches, uh, a couple of things to think about as well. Make sure after you've caught that double jab, you're throwing a nice straight right and then be ready to pivot with your boxer so you're in position for the punches coming out, boom, 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 okay? Make sure you're ahead of um, what's going on. So in, in real boxing terms, that double jab is there to kind of draw me into throwing that two. She's already a step ahead. She knows that's what she's trying to set up. From there, she's gonna swing that back foot out, spin on that front foot. The front foot's pivoted, perfectly on balance, 50-50. Can almost sit into the back foot a little bit if you want for a bit more power in those three shots from there, okay? So when we put it together, it's a nice flow. Make sure you pivot with your boxer. Double jab, slip, pivot. Boom, boom, boom. Three counter punches off that pivot. So just a good one for developing head movement and working on that pivot with um, your combination right there. So double jab, slip inside, pivot out, uppercut hook two to finish off the combination. There's your first combination, developing your footwork. So combination number two, we're gonna work on the pull. So there's a couple of, there's actually two or three different ways to uh, pull when you're defending a straight punch. Um, you can set the feet and just simply pull the upper body straight back in a straight line, right? Just to get the head out, out of range. We can use the feet. We can actually step with both feet where you would step back and then bring the foot, foot, foot as well. That gets you completely out of range. But in order to stay in range, with the pull with the footwork, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that front foot glued to the floor and just use the back foot and kind of spring back off that back foot with the counter punch. So the little step back is gonna pull my boxer out of range, but it's also keeping her in range because she steps, keep the front foot planted. Now she's in range to land that, that counter punch as well. Okay, she doesn't have to do too much footwork here. It's a nice, simple little step back. That step back can be about six to eight inches. If, we, if I throw a jab, she's gonna practice that step back and come back in with a two. So the combination to drill this a couple of times, we're nice and simple with the punches so they can really concentrate on the feet. We're gonna do a jab. I'm gonna throw a jab straight back, so a jab. Pull with the back foot, counter with the right and then pull again, and then this time we're gonna count with two punches, right and left hook, okay? So jab, pull, cross, pull, two hook. So jab, pull, two, pull, two hook, yeah, okay? So the first time she's countering, she's only got the one punch. The, tech, the second time she's countering, she's countering with two punches and we're finishing on that left hook. The key with this is to stay in range the whole time. Really glue, glue that front foot to the floor. Imagine if this was pinned down, right? It can't move, it's just the back foot dropping and pushing, dropping and pushing, and really springing off that back foot to get the power in the counters too. Keeping the chin down, keeping the same height, just a little pull just to get the, the body, upper body and head out of range from the counter punches, so jab. Pull, two, pull, two, pull, good. And then if we put a bit of speed on it, she can really start to get that speed and rhythm with the back foot and time those counters. Ready, go. Good, one more. Good, and notice as well, every time she's pulling, it's just a fraction, inches away from my mitt. That's perfectly where it should be. The weight's loaded on that back foot, so there's plenty of power coming back through with that counter. So there it is, just great for drilling that pull, that little step back, but keeping that front foot planted to stay in range and land your counter punches. So it's a great combination there. Combination number two, practicing the footwork, 
the pull and the counter. All right, so before I get to this third combination, this is actually my favorite because we got two pieces of footwork in this combination. I just wanted to remind you, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments below. Please share it, spread the word about the channel. All right, so third combination, we're gonna work on a side step across to the power side and then back to that pivot that we did in combination one to get back in position to land more counter punches. So we'll break it down. We're gonna start with the one, two. From there, she's drawing me into punches, but she's stepping off to the side with the right foot now. So she's getting onto my, my uh, non-dominant side, but going to her dominant side, which puts her in a really powerful position. So after the side step, she's over to the side of me, perfectly in position to land counter punches, which will be right on the chin. Throw the right hand, right? Right there, right across, because it's turned me inside out. It's stepped over to the side, put me off balance. Great, ch great chance to land that cross. So what we're going to do from there in t for the mitt work to drill um, the pivot back into position, I'm going to give her two punches. We're going to throw that right hand. And then from there, she's going to throw the left hook, but she's going to spin with the hook. So she's going to pivot the left foot and swing the back foot as she throws the hook pulls her back in position because from there, say I've reacted or defended those punches, now she's back on that side again, ready to attack again. So it's just, just great for being a step ahead of your opponent in boxing because you're attacking, getting off to the side, attacking, spinning back, and you're always confusing your opponent and keeping them off balance by changing those angles. So we're gonna start again, we'll break it down. So we'll go the one, two, side step, right foot steps across, left foot follows it. She's right across me. We're gonna go right hand, left hook. As that hook lands, she's gonna spin that back foot. Just do that um, cross hook again. Boom, spin, spins with the hook, right? Now the key here, um, you see when she lands from that um, spin off the hook, the key is to be on balance and in position again right here. If she spins too far, let's practice going too far. So after that, boom. She goes too far with that back foot, not in a good position to throw that backhand from there. Off balance, feet are too wide right foot too far behind her. The key right here is being that perfect boxing stance and on balance with a line between the feet, ready to throw anything. We're just, for the sake of this combination, we're gonna practice staying on balance by giving her the two, just to make, keep her in check with the balance after that pivot, okay? So from the top, one, two, side step, two hook, pivot out, boom, perfectly done. Nice, good stuff. Let's do it again. So just keep an eye on the feet, keep an eye on the balance. Make sure after the side step, your boxes are on balance and after that pivot back, they're perfectly on balance to land that counter, uh, counter right hand as well. One, two, side step, two, boom, boom, good. Should be right back where you started really. Start in that position, get off to the side, land the two counters, spin back with the hook, perfectly in position to finish off with that right hand. So there's your third combination. Great for working on um, the side step to the power side to change the angle, and then just spinning back with the hook as well, that pivot hook. So a couple of more advanced techniques there with footwork, but a great combination for you to practice and drill and really develop that footwork with your punches and your counter punches. Try it out, let me know how it goes. Good. Nice.